Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can use Movie Maker to edit your pictures so that you can make a movie out of them. Now the first thing is, if you haven't already downloaded Movie Maker onto your computer, I've made a video on where you can find Movie Maker for Windows 7, 8 and 10. So do check the description box if you want to know where to download Movie Maker from. Uh, once you've downloaded Movie Maker, this is the icon for Movie Maker. So all you have to do is double click on it and then you will see the dashboard of Movie Maker. All right, so here at the top is the menu area and this is where all of the editing takes place. And then here on the right hand side is the workspace area. So this is where you will be able to import your pictures onto your timeline. And here on the left hand corner is where you can preview all of your work. So by pressing play or the spacebar on your keyboard, you can play back whatever you've edited. So the first thing is to add your photos onto the timeline. To do that, you need to make sure that home is selected and then you want to click on add videos and photos. So I'm going to click on that. If you want to select more than one photo from your computer, all you need to do is press control on your keyboard. While holding it down, you can select more than one photo from your computer. So I'm going to select these five photos here. Now I'm going to click on open. So I'm going to click on that. There are some things I want to mention before we get started with the editing. Wherever you place your cursor is what will show in the preview box here. So if I move my cursor to the first image here, um, you can see that's what's showing in the preview box. If I move it to the second image, that's what will show. Anytime you want to edit a picture, you need to make sure that the blue outline is around that picture. If it's not around that picture, that means you're not editing that picture. If you make a mistake at any time uh, during your editing, all you need to do is press Ctrl and Z on your keyboard and that will take you back one step. Also, you can press the undo button here at the top and that will also take you back one step. So say, for example, the cursor is maybe close to the minus sign here, then you want to drag it all the way out to the plus icon and that will space out all of your thumbnails so it's easier for you to edit them. Also, if you go to view and thumbnail size, you can change the size of your thumbnail so you can make them larger if you want to make them appear larger. If at any time you want to preview your work, all you have to do is press preview full screen and you can see what you have created in full screen mode. You can also click on this icon here, which is the same icon, preview full screen. And you can see now it's uh, displaying everything in full screen. And if you press ESC on your keyboard, it will go back to the dashboard area. If you want to add an additional photos, to your already existing photos here on the timeline. What you need to do is move your cursor to where you want that photo to be. So say for example, you want the photo to go in between this clip here of the boy and this clip here where it says movie maker full class. Then you need to make sure that this first picture is selected and then you need to go to add videos and photos and let's select this picture here and open. And as you can see, it's now added it in the middle between the playing boy here and Movie Maker Full Class. You can also move this photo by clicking on it, hold down the left part of your mouse and then drag it to wherever you want it to go. To remove a photo, right click and remove. The first thing that we want to do is to edit our pictures. So if you want to edit any picture that you have imported, like I mentioned, you need to double click on the picture. So let me double click on the first picture. Now you can see the blue outline is around that first picture, which means it's selected. Be aware that whenever you import a picture to Movie Maker, it will always be seven seconds long. So you can change the duration of that picture afterwards, of course, by going to Video Tools and Edit. Um, and then let's make it two seconds. And um, the second picture, for example, I can make that longer. So I can make that 30 seconds if I want. I can even make it 40 seconds by typing 40 in this area here in the, in the blank space here. I'm going to make the second picture three seconds long. And then I'm going to select the third picture and I'm going to make the third picture two seconds long. 
and the last picture I'm selecting it and I'll make the last picture two seconds long as well. So this is how you can change the duration of your picture. It's very easy. If I want to add a transition between the first and the second picture, I need to make sure the second picture is selected and I know it's selected because of this blue outline around the picture. You need to click on animation up here in the menu area and then here I can select any of the transitions. One of my favorites is crossfade because it's very subtle and professional. So I'm going to select crossfade between these two pictures and say for the second and third picture, I need to select the third picture and here I will just select any transition. So let me select this one. I'm going to press play. And it looks actually very nice like this, but I'm going to change the duration of this first transition to half of a second. So it's a little bit shorter. If at any time you want to get rid of any of the transition that you have added, all you need to do is click on this blank page here. So where it says no transition and it will take away the transition that you've added. But you need to make sure that the picture is selected for which you want to remove the transition. Now, if you want to add an effect to your picture, um, all you have to do is, again, you need to make sure that you are here at animation. So this is the same place where your transitions are and the duration. Um, if you look here at the top right-hand corner, you can see where it says pan and zoom. And this is where you can add effects to your pictures. So for example, if I want to add an effect to the first picture, I may need to make sure that it is selected and then I can select from any of these effects here. So say for example, the zoom in effect, if I click on that and I play it back, you can see it's zooming into that picture. And for the second picture, if I select, um, for example, this one here, zoom in, center and rotate, if I play that back, that's pretty cool. Also, something that is really important or valuable to know is that if you want to add an effect to all of your pictures at the same time, select home here at the menu area. And then here where it says select all, click on it. And as you can see, everything has now been selected. How do I know everything is selected? Because the blue outline is around all of the pictures here. I'm going to go back to animation and I'm going to change the duration of the transition to, let me do that. I'm going to change it to half of a second for all of them. And you can do the same for adding an effect or adding a particular transition to all of your photos. So all you have to do is select everything in the homes area and then choose one transition to add to everything. Now let me just play that back. So if I want to add text to my pictures, I need to go to home here at the top and then I can click on caption. Um, be aware that wherever the cursor is, that's where the caption will be added. So I want to add the caption to this first picture here. So I'm going to click on caption. And as you can see, the caption has been added and the length of the caption is as long as the first picture. If I want to make this uh, caption longer, so the text, I can simply go to text duration here and let's make that four seconds long and as you can see now it is embodied the first and the second picture also if i want to change the start time of this caption say i wanted to start a little bit later i can just simply click on the arrow pointing upwards here where it says start time and you can see it's moving the caption away from the start of my a picture here. If I click the arrow pointing down, it moves it back to the beginning. If you hold the left part of your mouse, you can move the caption to wherever you want it to be. So I'm going to move it to the beginning of my picture again. And if I want to add text, all I have to do is in this preview box where it says enter text here, click in the center, remove the information. And I'm going to type something like a movie maker tutorial. If you want to make the text bigger, 
this is where you can change the text size. And if you want to space the text out, you just have to hover over the small tiny boxes here. And once you see the arrows that are pointing in the opposite direction, you can then use your mouse, hold it down and drag it out. Also, if you hover over the box here, um, you can see this star appear, and this is how you can move the text to wherever you want it to be. I'm going to leave it in the middle. Um, also, if I want to change the font of the text, all I have to do is go up here. Let's choose this one. Yeah, that's okay. If you want to add an outline around your text, um, you can do that here where it says outline size at the top right-hand corner. Click on the arrow pointing down. I'm going to choose the narrow outline. And for color, I'm going to choose a dark gray. So that looks okay. Also, you can add a cool effect to your text. And you can choose the effect here in this area. I'm going to choose this one, for example. Okay, so let's play that back. Okay, there you go. If you want to add music and narration, you have to go again to home. And this time, say for example, you want to add music, you click on add music. Let's make the music start here. Um, add music at current point. Okay, and I'm going to select this music track here by René Dominique and open. And as you can see, it's added it to this current point here. I can also move my music track. Again, it's the same way that I move the text. All you have to do is hold down the left part of your mouse. So I'm going to move it all the way to the beginning of my uh, pictures, like so. Now, if you want to edit your music track, you need to make sure that music tools is selected. So options here where it says options, click on that. And this is where you can edit your music track. So for example, you can edit the volume of your music here. So let's make it a little bit lower. Also, you can fade out your music at the end so that it doesn't end abruptly. To do that, you need to select fade out. And uh, let's do a medium fade out. If you want to split, your music track. So say, for example, we want to remove this first bit where there is no sound at all. All I have to do is move the cursor to just where the sound starts. So you can see the music wave. And I'm going to move the cursor just before the music wave starts. And then I'm going to click on split. Then I have to select the first bit here. I right click on my mouse and remove. So now it's removed that first bit here where there's no music playing. So let's just listen. And as you can hear, it's faded out the music at the end. So let's just listen to the last bit again. That's pretty cool, huh? So if you want to add a narration to your project, what you need to do is make sure you go to home again. And this time you need to click on record narration. Again, you need to make sure that the cursor is at the spot where you want your narration to start. So let's say we want our narration to start here. And now I'm going to press record narration and then I'm going to press record. Hello, everybody. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and stop. OK, now you want to name your narration. I'm going to call it test. And you want to save it somewhere where you can find it later in case you want to reuse that narration and save. So if you want to edit your narration, what you need to do is you need to go up here to narration tools and click on options. And as you can see, all of the, the uh, editing can take place here. So uh, for example, this first bit here, there is no sound at all. So we can cut this first bit away. And the way to do that is to move the cursor to just before the speech waves and then just click on split and select the first bit, right click with your mouse and remove. So this is one way to remove it. You can also go to home and click remove. That's another way to remove that unwanted clip. And then we can move our narration to wherever we want. So we wanted to start right here where the dog picture begins. I'm going to hold down the left part of my mouse and I'm just going to drag it to the beginning of my picture like so. Okay, and let's listen to the narration. Hello everybody, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stop. 
there you go. If you want to do any editing and you don't see, for example, the narrations tool up here, as you can see right now, it's not there. And the way to get to it, so if you want to edit your narration, you just double click on the narration here. If you double click, you will see that the narrations tool will appear and then you can do any editing to it. Also, just very quickly, if you want to add effects to your pictures, all you need to do is click on visual effects up here. You, so you can choose black and white or serpia. How about we make this picture black and white? Yeah, we can make that black and white, for example. Finally, I'm going to show you how you can add a title at the beginning or at the end of your project, or you can also add a title in the middle of your project. So the way to do that is you move the cursor to the beginning of your project, for example, then go to home and here where it says title select, this is how to add a title. You can add text in here. So I'm just going to call this the way that you can edit your text is the same way that we have edited our caption. So if you want more details on how to edit your text, then please just have a look at how I edited the caption um, earlier on. And this is pretty much how to do it. So you can change the font and you can change the size. Um, you can make it slant or change the color here. You can put an outline here and you can also add cool effects. So let's just add a, an effect here. And I'm just going to change the, let's change the background color actually from black to, let's make it orange for example. And we can change the text duration to two seconds. And if you want to change the background duration, you need to double click on it. And then once you double click, you will see the videos tool up here and you can change the timing here. Okay, so this is pretty much how to add a title page, very simple. Wow, there you go. Hello everybody, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stuff. There you go. So it's that easy. And you can also add a title page at the end of your video by selecting the last picture. And then you can, you know, select title again. At the end, I'm going to add a credits section. So just going to say, I'm going to change the length again, duration, I'm going to make it two seconds. There you go. So when you are exporting your work, it's really important to check the size of your video. So go to project and I recommend selecting widescreen. If you have widescreen, then it means that you can export your clip to YouTube or Vimeo. Then go to home and click on save movie and then select for high definition display, which means you know, HD. Once you do that, you can then save it onto your computer and then save. Okay, so let's play back what we've created. Hello everybody, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stuff. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Also, finally, if you want to save your project and edit it at a later date, the way to do that is to go to Archivio, it says here, but I think in English it's file, <laughs> and then click on save project as, and then save it onto your computer. And this means that you can edit it at a later date. If you want to add more things like transitions or uh, clips, you can do that later on. Just make sure that you don't move any of your original clips and photos from where they were originally. That's the only thing. You need to leave them where they were originally so you can edit your work later on. And finally, I just want to mention that if you want a full tutorial on Movie Maker, so if you want to know how to edit your clips as well, then do check out my full class on my um, channel where I show you exactly how to use Movie Maker step by step. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and also um, comment and like. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.